You've been a very good boy. All right, we're on our way to go visit um, Bill Belichick and his uh, wonderful girlfriend, Linda Holiday, in the charming and quaint historic town of Sconset, which is at one end of the island of Nantucket. And we're actually going to see their new little dog, Nike, who looks like a little wolf. To the outside world, Bill Belichick is all business, all the time. That's where Nike comes in. As I always like to say, dogs tell us a lot about their humans. Well, hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. <laughs> I came home one day and told Bill we're getting an Alaskan clique high, and he says, what is an Alaskan clique high? And he starts to know that we travel too much. We're not going to do that. The other dogs are gone. You get too attached. And within 24 hours, he falls in love with Nike. He's a fun dog. He, he enjoys playing, and he's a boy. He's aggressive. Like, it's not just getting it. It's he wants to pull out the um, stuffing, the squeaker. He likes to he likes to mix it up and get tossed around a little bit. He's pretty good with his paws, too. I love dogs. Yeah, I love dogs. All dogs, most all dogs love me, so. There's actually a picture online that purports that Nike is wearing a hoodie. That was my fault. Yes, yeah, so he was a puppy and it was cold that night and he's shivering and all of us have on our big winter coats in the middle of April. So I had a little hoodie and I reached in his little treat bag and put the hoodie on and then Bill's taking him up the stairs after the lacrosse game is over and I guess someone snapped a picture and I didn't even think, you know, the man with the hoodie carrying the dog with the hoodie. So. And you didn't even realize that the man with the hoodie was carrying the dog with the hoodie. Never even occurred to me. <laughs> was the dog named Nike? So he kept saying, the dog's name is Jack. Yeah. I said, my dog is going to be named Chester. And we bring the dog home. We're looking at him. He's not a Chester. And Bill's like, well, he's a Jack. Not a Jack. He could be a Jack. And Ashley or Kat, I can't remember which one, looks up and says, he's a Nike. Do the Patriots wear Nike? Yes. And so were you comfortable with him being named Nike? I didn't You're care. Not That's fine. I like Jack, kind of but a... that didn't make it. The last season didn't end the way you wished it would have ended. Did Nike have anything to do with sort of making you feel better about it, or did he take your mind off of it? Or Yeah, I don't think Nike cares about football. He's just there every day. One of the great things about dogs is that all the stuff that feels super important to us, all the heightened stuff, the relationships, it falls away. They, it's unconditional love. You just walk in the door and they love you. They wag their tail, they look you, they're happy to see you. It doesn't make any difference what kind of day you had or what happened or anything else. So it's just unconditional. You know, I get plenty of football at football. Not that football, I love football, but it's nice to get away and, and change the scenery and uh, not talk about it. Pretty much always in a good mood. Yeah.